I'm sitting at a flight that I didn't expect to be sitting because <laughs> we missed the ferry last night. So um, it's uh, seven, almost eight in the morning. And we were actually supposed to be in Palma de Mallorca at six in the morning, but we had to use plan B, which is uh, when we lost the ferry, we had to decide what we we're gonna do. So we stayed at a hostel and then we booked a new flight and it was all messy and shit, but here we are in Ryanair. Viva Ryanair. Jump into the car on a Friday night I wanna drive with you Looking for a bar in the nearest town I've never seen a sky so blue We don't have a plan and the night is young It doesn't matter what we do There ain't nobody like There ain't nobody like You look so beautiful Hey, come on, did you play that song? Can you take me? down and that look at that okay I'm gonna take you there let's go and see I'm at the hotel and um, I feel I'm collapsing. I don't want to see people around me. I don't want to to listen to conversations of people in my surrounding. I don't want to see things moving around me. Everything just gives me I don't know if it's a headache, anxiety, it just feels bad. And I've been overdoing, I guess, these days because I always go from one extreme to the other, you know, like, okay, I'm enjoying this and it's normal, I'm on vacation, I'm seeing friends and then I'm doing something else with friends um, and then I'm staying up until late and I only sleep for four hours, three hours. I have to catch up a uh, a metro or a train or an airplane or a ferry. And because I'm super bad with time management, I make it late and I'm traveling with a friend. And I think we both kind of rely on the other and we're both just not organized people. We lost one ferry last night and that was very stressful you know that cost a lot of energy in me in my body because it's like i bottle up my emotions inside basically and they don't go out they just they just stay there in my body and on top of that i had alcohol yesterday which i have reduced i have like stopped doing and because it was my birthday okay it's allowed but it's horrible because it makes me feel sick after. But not only that, I'm also allergic to gluten, I'm allergic to lactose. You know, they put you in Spain here, like uh, omelets and tortilla de patata, and they put bread next to it. And I've, I've been eating that granola, and what happens now is like my voice, you hear it, it's like, Ugh. So, conclusion, I am today alone, spending the day in bed. I am very happy and grateful I'm spending all of this time and adventures 
with someone i'm so lucky that she understands sometimes it looks like she's one step ahead of me and she just goes her own way or she notices and doesn't even ask me if i want to hang out which is quite good um so if you go through this if you are one person i mean you can be highly sensitive or you can be just like an introvert who needs a lot of recharge time or recharging time. I think it's key, it's important to tell the other person how you experience anxiety or how you experience stress or how does it make you feel when, when things happen and use the examples of things that just happened so they know but make sure to like say it in a good way so they don't feel like you're trying to blame it, blame them, of course. That's been working out for me quite well. vacation it's different than being at home at home i am a lot in silence so i am in the introverted mood i think i'm pretty much in under that now it's 7 p.m or 7 15 and i'm waiting for karen because she had this idea of going to the nearest town for dinner and to walk a little bit so we're gonna do that you know i actually love that i I'm on a vacation with her because she definitely has like these ideas and she pushes me out to go and actually do things. And normally, even though I am very, I consider myself very adventurous, at the same time, I'm not really adventurous. I'm like more adventurous in my head than, than in like real, you know, let's go and do this and that. Like I can spend a whole day just thinking about stuff and the day just goes pretty fast. Maar ja, help me ook. Je bent lief. Zij denkt voor mij wat een goede shot is. Wil je daar gaan staan? Ik moedig je aan. Kom tijger, doe het. guys that I'm feeling good again. I don't feel like I was feeling yesterday and the day before I filmed those other videos. Oh my god. So yeah, I'm just enjoying myself here at the pool. Then I'm gonna go to this to swim there. But before I'm going to swim there. And um yeah that's all. I was thinking of actually making a video for you today about you know MBTI but then I decided you know what it's my last day of vacation and I need to learn to just let go. Let's go.
we're past the cold So I stay and just repeat it now Yeah, oh We dream about all things being alright But we freeze when it's all up to us So let's fight it Last night in Nederland. Het was een leuke ervaring nog een keer met mijn soulmates en friends. <laughs> We hebben te veel fouten samen gemaakt, toch? Ja, wel heel hard om te lachen. Ja. Dat is belangrijk. Wij het verder hebben gemist. <laughs> dat wij een laatste minuut vlucht moeten boeken. En wij een laatste minuut hotel moeten boeken. Het kan gebeuren met ons. We zijn alle, alle, allebei een beetje all over the place. Ja, ik, het is wel een patroon dat ik wel altijd te laat kom. Ik ben niet zo goed in time management. Ja, ik ook. Maar ja. om, omdat ik met haar was... Ja, en jij dacht dat ik alles op de controle was. Ik dacht, ja, maar jij, nou, we zijn samen, dus jij houdt ook de tijd in de gaten. I know. Maar in ieder geval, ik heb net verteld tegen Karen dat dit is ook een goede teken voor onze vriendschap. Want het blijft nog steeds hetzelfde. Ook met de hele gekke fouten. Je kunt momenten dan ook geven aan elkaar even en het is na weer gezellig. We hebben veel goede momenten gehad. Alleen als je constant aan het zingen bent, dan negeer ik dat gewoon. Hoe doen jullie dat? Ik moet zeggen, ja, ik ben continu aan het zingen, maar ook ik praat alleen. Ik ben op de straat en dan herhaal ik alles wat ik op de straat hoor. En dan zeg ik si si tia ze bla bla bla, gewoon met de spaans. Het gaat in brabbelende taal door, ik negeer het gewoon. En in het begin vroeg ik, mag je nou een reactie van mij? Ik versta het niet, maar wat, wat verwacht je van mij? En ze zei, nee nee, ik praat gewoon. <laughs> Ik ga door. Maar zij is aan de andere kant heel stil. Zij is gewoon op haar telefoon. En uh, zij is een niña buena. <laughs> en ik zou het nog een keer met jou doen. Uh, ik ook. Je mag door naar de volgende ronde. Dat okay. fijn. Ja. Bye. Doei. Ciao. Perritas. <laughs> So before we bring the car back, we're walking in Palma de Mallorca and it's so cute. Pink purrs and a rough old worn sweater, you left them behind like a love 